Right now at five, a massacre at a museum. Tourists targeted by gunmen toting AK-47s. Tonight, the search for those responsible and a motive for terror in Tunisia. And 22 people died in this morning's attack, including several foreign tourists and two of the gunmen. But more remain on the loose tonight. CBS 4's Elliot Rodriguez is here now with the afternoon's developments. Elliot. Well, Eric and Rick, most of the people killed in this attack were tourists visiting the museum. This is being called the worst terror attack on tourists in North Africa in more than a decade. And some of those responsible have still not been captured. Tourists visiting a museum in Tunisia's capital scrambled for safety after escaping a deadly attack. Gunmen armed with AK-47 stormed the National Museum next to the Parliament Building in central Tunis. Italia. Tunisia's Prime Minister said visitors from Italy, Germany, Poland and Spain were among the dead. At least 20 others were injured. Authorities said two of the gunmen and a security officer were also killed as Tunisian forces poured into the area. This is not a good sign and certainly demonstrates that the Tunisian government has not been able to fully contain what is an extremist movement that means business and certainly has attacked today. An expert on extremism said that Twitter accounts linked to the Islamic State groups are voicing elation at the attack. U.S. officials condemned it in what it called a fluid situation and kept in contact with their counterparts in Tunisia. We just don't want to draw any conclusions at this point. Uh, Tunisian authorities and the government have the lead. Late this afternoon, the Tunisian prime minister said some of the gunmen were still at large. The North African country is struggling to keep out Islamic extremists after igniting the Arab Spring and overthrowing its authoritarian president four years ago. Now, Tunisian officials have said that no Americans were injured in today's attack. Elliot Rodriguez, CBS 4 News.